Master of Fine Arts students from across Southern California are showing their art at the Orange County Great Park Gallery in this latest exhibit called Artist Statement. The work chosen for this exhibition was based on how it might change our understanding of traditional mediums, um, specifically painting, photography, and site-specific installation. A lot of the work on display is not just um, relying on one mode of making an object, but multiple modes. So there can be combinations of photography with quilting or painting with sculpture. Along the left wall of the gallery, there's a 60-foot long photograph that didn't use a camera. Instead, the artist, Justin Wrightsell, uses the chemistry, material, and the process of photography to achieve the image. Another wall is composed of yarn and Velcro, creating a metaphor for the connection between humans, animals, and objects. You can see all the patterns are uh, wrapped by yarn and uh, circle by circle, layer by layer, and uh, this is a way that I use to make the feeling of magnetic field. This is my uh, language to transform my feeling. Sidney Walter's inspiration is a floral pattern etched on the bottom of a 15th century icon of the Virgin Mary. So I, I don't paint figures, it's the contortions and muscularity of the canvas is represented as a body. So that's consistent in my practice. And then this one is, uh, I think, potentially harder to make that connection between figure and this piece, but it's still there. It's not operating like a traditional painting. Another installation was inspired by the artist's travels to manufacturing plants throughout China, seeking to find a human touch within such an industrial setting. She incorporates prints on plexiglass. Painting usually hung up the wall, right? So it's only two-dimensional space we can um, see and then communicate with, only two-dimensional. But my work, it's people can just look around, see the different sides and the three-dimensional, although it really feels like three-dimensional, and then with the lighting, penetrating writing through the space and color, you know, skims. I really wish people just, you know, hang, like, look around. Painting can be a sculpture. Reed Van Brunschot's work is an enormous inflatable she made by sewing fabric and drawing her design. This modern pop art piece has a message. The way that the bags are empty is the way you think about we can keep on buying things and we'll never really be fulfilled. There's that aspect of it. Um, there's the other aspect, the ugly aspect of, you know, pollution and the overuse of plastic, of course, that could also be a message within this. But there's also this kind of beauty, I guess, ultimately in design, you know, of this very classic design. Amarita Disha is here with her family enjoying the gallery exhibit. We know creativity is pushing those boundaries, and I feel like when people find different ways to do it, and they're able to express it, and someone else can enjoy it and take it in, it's great. For more information on the Great Park Gallery, visit their website. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twag.